It was a cold and foggy night in the secluded woods of New Jersey. The moon hung ominously overhead, casting eerie shadows on the forest floor. The residents of Peytonville whispered in fear, their voices hushed by the tales of a creature that stalked the night. They called it the Jersey Devil, a myth that had been passed down from generation to generation. Detective Jake Callahan had recently transferred to Peytonville, a small town plagued by the mysterious murders. Known for his sharp intuition and a knack for solving the unsolvable, he saw this as a chance to prove himself. He had heard stories of the Jersey Devil but dismissed them as mere folklore. As Jake delved deeper into the case, he soon discovered that there was more to the legend than he had anticipated. He found himself sitting in the local tavern, nursing a whiskey, trying to make sense of it all. That's when he noticed a woman in the corner, her eyes filled with fear. Curiosity peaked. Jake approached the woman. Ma'am, is everything all right? The woman looked up at Jake, her voice trembling. Detective, you need to leave this town before it's too late. The devil is real, and it won't stop until it has claimed its next victim. Jake raised an eyebrow. The Jersey Devil, huh? You really believe in that? The woman nodded, her face pale. I've seen it with my own eyes, detective. It has dark wings, sharp claws, and glowing red eyes. It's a monster. Intrigued, Jake pushed his empty glass aside and leaned in closer. Tell me more. I need to understand what we're dealing with. The woman took a deep breath, her voice hushed. Legend has it that the Jersey Devil was once a woman, cursed by the devil himself for daring to love a man of a different race. She transformed into a hideous creature, seeking revenge on those who wronged her. She haunts these woods, searching for souls to devour. Jake chuckled, skeptical. A curse, huh? Sounds like something out of a storybook. Believe what you want, the woman said, her eyes filled with pain. But the devil's murders are real, detective. They're happening right now. Jake's interest was piqued. He couldn't ignore the strange occurrences any longer. He decided to head into the woods, determined to find answers. The forest was dense, the darkness swallowing him whole. He moved cautiously, his footsteps muffled by the fallen leaves. The silence hung heavy in the air, broken only by the distant hoot of an owl. Suddenly, a rustling sound echoed in the distance. Jake's heart raced as he followed the noise. His flashlight flickered casting eerie shadows on the trees. Who's there? Jake called out, his voice echoing through the darkness. No response. Determined, Jake forged ahead, his heart pounding. A while later, he stumbled upon something that made his blood run cold a torn piece of fabric, soaked in blood. Thoughts raced through Jake's mind. Was this the work of the Jersey Devil? Or was there something more sinister at play? Suddenly, a figure darted past him moving with unnatural speed. Jake's instincts kicked in, and he gave chase, afraid of what he might find, but more afraid of what he might not find. The chase led him deeper into the woods, where the fog grew thicker, obscuring his surroundings. He could hear heavy breathing, getting closer. Finally, Jake reached a clearing, bathed in a sickly green glow. He stood frozen, staring at the creature before him the Jersey Devil. Dark wings spread wide, claws shimmering under the moonlight. The devil's red eyes locked onto Jake. You should have stayed away, detective, the devil hissed, its voice a chilling whisper. Now, it's your turn to die. Jake's heart raced as he reached for his gun. This was the moment he had been waiting for. His training kicked in, and he fired his weapon, narrowly missing the creature. The devil lunged at Jake, knocking him to the ground. He could feel its hot breath on his neck, its claws ready to strike. With a surge of adrenaline, Jake grabbed a fallen branch and swung it with all his might. The devil screeched, stumbling backward. Taking advantage of the creature's momentary weakness, Jake scrambled to his feet and fired another shot. This time, it hit its mark. The devil let out a blood-curdling scream, collapsing to the ground. Jake cautiously approached, his heart still pounding. He looked down at the creature, no longer fearsome, now just a lifeless body. The legend of the Jersey Devil had been put to rest. Word of Jake's heroic feat spread throughout Peytonville. The town celebrated him as a hero, their fears slowly dissipating. Life returned to normal, the fog lifting from their minds. Months passed, and Jake settled into his new life as the town's beloved detective. But just when he thought the horrors were behind him, a new case landed on his desk. Women were disappearing again, strange markings found at the crime scenes. 
Jake couldn't help but be drawn back into the darkness, haunted by the specter of the Jersey Devil. Determined to bring an end to the new wave of terror, Jake delved deep into the investigation. He pored over every detail, searching for any clue that might lead him to the truth. One night, while Jake was scribbling down notes in his office, a knock on the door interrupted his concentration. Startled, Jake rose from his chair. Who's there? The door creaked open, revealing a woman in a long, flowing cloak. Her eyes reflected the moonlight, full of mystery and danger. I know who you're looking for, she said, her voice light as a whisper. But be warned, detective. The creature you seek is not of this world. Its origins are far more sinister than anyone can comprehend. Jake was intrigued. Tell me more. The woman stepped forward, her cloak billowing behind her. The Jersey Devil is merely a puppet, a pawn in a grand scheme. There are darker forces at play, forces that wish to use its power for their own gain. Suspicion clouded Jake's mind. Who was this woman? Could she be trusted? Seeing the doubt in his eyes, the woman reached into her cloak and produced a piece of paper. This is what you seek a prophecy that holds the key to defeating the devil. Jake unfolded the paper, his eyes scanning the cryptic symbols. What does it mean? The woman smiled, her lips barely parting. You must find four ancient artifacts hidden across Paytonville. When brought together, they possess the power to banish the devil back to the depths of hell. Intrigued, Jake clenched the paper in his hand. And where do I start? The woman pointed to the woods, her gaze unwavering. Your journey begins where it all started. The heart of darkness calls to you, detective. Find the first artifact, and the path will be revealed. Jake couldn't ignore the call to action. He needed to put an end to this nightmare once and for all. Equipped with the newly acquired knowledge, Jake ventured into the woods. His determination was unwavering, even as the night grew darker around him. Deep in the heart of the forest, Jake stumbled upon an ancient stone pedestal, its surface adorned with mysterious symbols. A sense of foreboding filled the air, as if the woods themselves were warning him of danger. But Jake pressed on, his resolve unyielding. Placing his hand on the pedestal, Jake closed his eyes, letting the energy flow through him. A blinding light engulfed the forest, and when Jake opened his eyes, the first artifact appeared before him a golden amulet pulsing with otherworldly power. The amulet felt warm to the touch, its weight comforting in Jake's hand. He knew that this was just the beginning. The true battle was yet to come. Armed with the amulet, Jake returned to his office, analyzing the symbols on the accompanying paper. His mind raced thoughts swirling like a whirlwind. Suddenly, his office phone rang, shattering the silence. Jake answered, expecting it to be a mere mundane interruption to his thoughts. Detective Callahan, Jake said, his voice devoid of emotion. A raspy voice filled the line. You think you can rid this town of the devil, do you? I'm afraid you're in over your head, detective. Jake clenched his fist, his knuckles turning white. Who is this? Call me Lucifer, the voice whispered, sending a chill down Jake's spine. I've been watching your progress, detective. You think these artifacts can save you, but you're playing right into my hands. Jake's heart raced as he braced himself for what was to come. He couldn't let Lucifer win. Not now. Not ever. Determined, Jake set off on his mission, traveling across Paytonville in search of the remaining artifacts. Each step he took brought him closer to the ultimate battle against evil. Along the way, Jake encountered allies who shared his determination to rid the town of darkness. A brilliant archaeologist, a fearless witch, and a quirky librarian all joined forces, their skills combining to form a formidable team. Together, they scoured ancient books and deciphered cryptic clues, navigating the perilous path that would ultimately lead them to the devil's lair. Finally, Jake and his allies stood before an ancient mausoleum, its iron gates creaking with anticipation. They knew that inside lay not only the final artifact but also their greatest challenge. The Devil's Lair was a labyrinth of darkness, its winding corridors filled with traps and illusions. But Jake and his team pushed forward, their resolve unwavering. At the heart of the lair, they found the final artifact a mystical dagger pulsing with power. This was their last chance to put an end to the Devil's reign. Armed with the dagger, Jake faced off against Lucifer himself. The battle was fierce each strike filled with desperation and determination. The devil's true form was revealed either monstrous beast, all sharp fangs and lethal claws. It fought with an otherworldly strength, threatening to tear apart everything Jake held dear. 
But Jake refused to surrender. With each swing of the dagger, he chipped away at the darkness, his willpower matching the devil's ferocity. Finally, a final blow pierced the devil's heart, sending it crumbling to the ground. The battle was won, the darkness vanished. As the dust settled, Jake looked around, his heart full of pride and relief. Paytonville was safe once more. The Jersey Devil's reign of terror had come to an end, thanks to one determined detective and a little help from the other side.